Hey, so here's a video, another video. I misspoke on um, having an entry from the living room. I'm going to refer to this as the great room, right? So there's a window that looks onto the courtyard. So I, I presume, well, you will have this down maybe here. And you still can't see the backyard. But anyway, uh, from the kitchen. But this is the window from the great room. Let me give you a quick little panoramic. So, but what you can do is, um, man, I guess it'd be neat. I'm trying to find a way for you to see the kids in the back. Yeah, while you're in the kitchen, I guess you can't do anything with that. But there is a door here and a window in the living room, the great room. And then you have this double window here in the den, which the den is quite a bit smaller than the great room or slash living room. <clears throat> but you do have access to seeing them in the little courtyard. Okay, so we're going to get some video footage of the bedroom. <clears throat> Here is, and I think I sent you this because I had access. Okay, so this is the first bedroom that you get to here. And here's the closet. Again, the only place I see is with this whole bathroom. Looks like that mold issue leaked over. And this is what you would share for this bedroom and the main um, public area. It has two sinks. And then we have the other bedroom is the Jack and Jill situation. Look at the closet. Okay. Smooth ceilings here. A high window. This window, that's the private courtyard for the master. And then this is where it goes into the bathroom. Both these rooms share bathroom. This is a simple version of Jack and Jill without, without all the doors and all that. So, yeah. So you got some peeling up here. Let me look at the shower. Here's some dripping. I guess the inspector was running the water. The water. Okay. And I did not speak to the girls, Margo and Ida. Hi, guys. It's Miss Alicia. How are you, babies? <laughs> so these are the windows in this second uh, Jack and Jill bedroom here. They have the little shutters and smooth ceilings. Look like no issues here. Nice little small rooms. And then you go further here. And this is one of the big bedrooms. So it's it's really kind of like a another master. I hear something running. So you got some moldy looking stuff there. It's a sink. I sent you a picture of the sink. When I first turned it on, it was real brown. And then after a while, it got clear. So it just probably hadn't been on in a while. But this bedroom is huge. This bedroom is like a master. And here's the closet here. Not sure. Oh, that looks like somebody smeared something. I don't smell any mold or anything in here. And through here, let's see, this is the unit here. Okay. He'll send you the inspector will send you all that info. And here is a closet. Before you get to the master, then you've got a vent just above the master door. And here's the master. These rooms are really just about the same size. Looks like the master is just a tad bit bigger or longer because of the hallway, you know. 
So you got two closets here, here, and here's the bathroom. Um, this is <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a bit stuffy behind this mask, but there's a skylight here. You got the tub and the sink. And I don't know what this was. Looks like maybe someone had been up in the attic and um, something's going on here. Hey, yeah, you're going to need new vents probably. You got that old new tone. And this is what's so exciting and too unique about it is this little courtyard. Let me see if I can get us in here. These doors are nice. So this is a little, except from the windows of the other two rooms. So this is a little private courtyard off the master and it's gated to the front yard. Here's another view. And then you walk along the side and see, you are in the backyard. See here? I see a dog. And got an AC unit back there and so forth. Great big magnolia tree. And the fences are extra high. Now, the neighboring back has one of those little kind of see-through fences. <clears throat> but that's a huge house. This one is huge too, but I think the all bedrooms down, all rooms down, it's just a great utilization potentially of space because you know sometimes you have parents us over 50 years who gravity is not as much on our side as we get older so not doing those stairs is great so yeah Dave and I were talking if you can renovate this it's great this is the let me see if I can get this up. So, this would give you another view. This is a double French door here. From the bedroom. It's, it's off the hallway. So, it gives you quick access. I mean, you could set up anything. I want to give you another view of the courtyard. And hopefully, this video will load as quickly as the last one. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go through the middle door to get here. I'll go through here. Let's see. And then, of course, you got the laundry room. Here's the quasi pantry, right? good thing you know how renovations can make a home so much nicer because sometimes especially younger folk can't see through the work that needs to be done let's see so that would be your entry from the carport the double carport there is storage here it's a storage room You actually have two storage rooms. They do connect to one another, but it looks like maybe they had a some pegboard dividing the two. Okay. There's a hydrant on this wall here. This is a little gate entry to the courtyard, so you can either come in through that side or through this door. Give you a good view. Those pipes look old, not sure. That's a inspector. Further observation here. So yeah. 
and let me show you the other storage shed. Ooh, ooh, ouch. You stick. Now, I don't know if little Margo and little Ida are gonna enjoy walking through here with these sticker bushes. <laughs> so, so this is the shed here. Looks like you got signs of mold. But that is an outdoor shed. It's locked. So that's, well, wait a minute. Yeah, that's another shed in addition to the other two. And the backyard. Let me give you another view of that. See the neighboring home. There's actually a house across the street for sale. I mean, like I said, this is one of those areas where you can really, especially if you fix it up, gain a lot of equity by a redo, is my opinion. Now, I don't know, that looks like a recent redo across the street there. Not sure if it is, but it's big. And you have an older house on the corner. I mean, man, I could drive this street and show you what they're doing. This street, Barfield, St. Nick. Because it's close to the city, not way out. Not everybody wants to be in Germantown. Or Collierville for that matter. Collierville is much further out. So, yeah. So, I will send you this. Let me know if you got questions.